on, in this video I'm going to show you how to be able to play hacked ROMs. I'm going to use an alternative way to patching instead of using the Lunar IPS software. You also need software to open up WinZip WinRAR files. I recommend 7-Zip. Go to 7-Zip.com website to be able to get that software. It's free to download. Okay, first off I'm going to show you this is the website to go one of two websites I use to go to to get clean ROMs. The other website is rapidlibrary.com. This is for shared.com, which require, requires you to create an account which is free to create. Okay, the .smc at the end of the name of the ROM stands for clean ROM. If you want to know more about what it what a clean ROM is, just look it up on the internet. Okay, we're going to go over here and search. This is the home page of foreshare.com. Okay, and it should bring you to a page similar to this. We're using Super Mario World, so this should be what the page looks like it brings you to. Once you click on Super Mario World Clean ROM, it should bring you to a page like this. Click the blue download link, not the download for sync. Now you'll go over here to free download, click on it. You'll have to wait 20 seconds. Okay. Note, I do not recommend like playing your regular Super Mario World games. I do not recommend using the clean ROM version because sometimes it'll mess up when trying to patch your hack games. I recommend using the SFC file type if you're going to play the regular game. But for patching games to be able to play hack ROMs, you need to get the clean ROM version, which is the .smc file type. Okay, once it gets through downloading, you go to open, and I'm using Safari web browser, so I'll have to go, if a window don't automatically pop up, I'll have to go over here to this magnifying glass, click on it, and extract the zip model, won't clean wrong, which in other words is drag and drop it. Now, I'll need to go to a website to get my hack zip model world. Uh, ROMs, which I recommend using smwcentral.com or .net to get your Super Mario World hacks. This is the home page of Super Mario World Central. Just go over here to hacks on the right side of the page. Should it should bring you to a page like this. Okay, we're going to use five level hack. So we'll go over here to download. Go to open. It should pop up a window like this. Sometimes with these ROM hacks, especially on SMW Central, you may have more files pop up in the window than just the one. And some of them you may have uh, where it's already in a folder with a name on it so you don't have to create a name. Or because some of these ROM hacks, when you download them, they'll just have the whole name, the hack name abbreviated. And if you try to rename the IPS file, uh, to the full name of it, it'll cause the hack ROM not to work right. Okay, so we're going to want to copy the hack ROM name, which is the IPS ROM file name. Copy it. Some of them may have the .ips at the end of them. You don't need to copy that part, just the name of the ROM, which will be this here. Uh, copy the name of that IPS file to the clean ROM version, which we're using so Super Mario World, so I'll, call, I'll paste it to the Super Mario World. Now we're done with that. Now we go to our create a folder. And doing this will allow you to actually, with the shit, the actual folder, you can actually name the folder the actual full name of whatever the ROM hack is without it messing it up. We'll just leave it at that at new folder. Drag and drop it in there and now we're going to load up the emulator which I use the SNES 9X version 1.52 Super Nintendo emulator which works great with these hacked ROMs once you've done the steps alright. Now as far as uh, playing hacked ROMs, I require you to mess with header and unheader crap. I don't know how to mess with that. I'll eventually make a video explaining how to how to deal with that. But as far as right now, I have no clue, or I've got some idea of how to do it, but I can't ever get it to work right when I do so. Yeah, we're gonna use this here. Uh, you 
when doing uh, patching the ROMs, is you, it will not work. Like for Super Mario World, if you uh, deal with the Super Mario World hack and try to patch it to a Super Mario All Stars plus Super Mario World, if Super Mario All Stars has got Super Mario World in it, that's a clean ROM. It will not work right. If, when you try and patch it to be able to play it. And now we're going to load that ROM, that SMC file, which will be this here. And note the main screen on here right now is the same as the original Super Mario World. Some of them may be like that, some of them may have the main screen be completely different, as well as the world map be completely different. Now some of them may have the main screen be exactly the same and the world map be exactly the same, but the levels be completely different. Which the levels be completely different anyways, but that's what makes a hack a hack. Unless you're just doing a minor hack, we just, we just change the text. So. Okay, as you notice this here, like on the regular Super Mario World, is the same. You just got a diff uh, different text in the box. Okay, we're... Now this level here is going to be completely different, as you noticed. This is basically how to be able to patch hack games without using the Lunar IPS software. Another website I recommend going to to be able to get your hacked ROMs or other hacked ROMs is uh, thefarielsdomain.net and romhacking.net. Not spelt, don't spell out dot, just.